There really is no need for an introduction, but I'm going to give you one anyway. Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, the unstoppable one, the unfathomable one, the Voldemort of the fitness industry. They dare not speak my name, Damien McLeod, aka the Alpha Wolf. Now, YouTube fitness recently has become a slobber knocker of roasts and shit talk, so to speak. And <laughs> one of the funny things that I've noticed is that these guys just keep coming out of the woodworks. I mean, first it started with Every Damn Day Fitness, then Alan, what, no, Steve Shaw, Alan Roberts. These guys are. They're making their they're making their round in the fitness industry. They're pointing out things, and it seems to be working. But there seems to be some discrepancies in their uh, agenda here. You see, I'm not gonna dig too deep into Steve Shaw's chest on this video, but I'm gonna address something that both of these guys have in common. It's a fear of someone more than them. I'll say that now. For Alan Roberts, you know, his fear, obviously, is I shall not mention the name of Damien McLeod. Now, it's funny, because Alan Roberts, of every day, damn, every damn day, whatever, the fitness guy, whatever, not really fitness. When you're, like, you know, allegedly older, what people are saying, because he has a lot of people who don't like him, you know, he's allegedly, I don't know, an older guy who just got on TRT and built a little muscle. Now he's giving fitness advice and making roasts push the fitness advice because let's be honest he's just regurgitating the same thing everyone else says and other than him pretty much cursing and talking a bunch of crap you know about people it, it no one really cares you know but let me give you the gist of what I mean I'm gonna play a quick snippet here but we're gonna address two things the fact that he seems to be afraid of Damien McLeod for some odd reason I don't know why maybe it's because I am what I am you know now he's mentioned tons of people's names but someone keeps telling me why is he so afraid to say your name because someone said you know he made a video promoting some guy named elliot and the video is about elliot because i'm really gonna just you know chime some light on him i'm not gonna say roast i'm gonna you know we'll go there but you know alan roberts once again you know he's he's at it again but check this out i'm gonna play a quick snippet and then give you my opinion Get past this Alan intro. Roberts. Alan Roberts, every damn day, for like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share my videos, motherfuckers. Thank you very much. Now that all that shit's over, I wanted each and every one of you, after this video is over, to follow this link right up here to Elliot Atwell's channel and subscribe to that shit because my motherfucker just destroyed Kenny KO. Uh, yeah, let's unpack that. It really wasn't a destroy. What, what happened is, is these guys are clicked up pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And whoever has the buzz, they're going to go after. Now, apparently, since I don't have the buzz yet, um, they're trying to avoid it because you know once you mention someone na someone's name on YouTube it's pretty much it's gonna be a subscriber fest and they really don't want me to get a, a piece of that action so you know I've you know I've heard from you know uh, what's this guy Rob another it's another uh, big Rob fitness yeah he, he's really racist <laughs> he's really he's really weird he's he's dropped a few n bombs on my channel for some odd reason, I've triggered him. I guess he's trying to get in on the crowd here. You know, kind of like they're bringing this Elliot Atwall guy. And I'm going to play a clip of this, but I want to give you my opinions on some things. So, you know, the uh, the Robert guy, Big Rob, you know, he's trying to get in on this genre that, you know, Steve Shaw ha is creating and Alan Roberts from Every Damn Day Fitness is creating by just talking shit about people. And then getting a bunch of clickbait views, you know what I'm saying, from try attempting to roast. It's really not roasting. It's pretty much just a bunch of F and M bombs. And it's funny because, um, what, I can't think of his name. He's really not that important. Alan Roberts reported one of my videos and YouTube contacted me. Yet he continuously makes videos just like the one you've seen that I just showed. Now, check this out make this video to address it but basically 92 percent of my follower base are people that like the picture so they they i guess they um kenny ko is supposedly doing something about photoshop i just get to the gist of it and um you know these guys they see an avenue they look for avenues you know where they can get it where they can get their subs up 
And, um, you know, they're picking a fight with Kenny. Now, I'm not a big Kenny KO fan. Kenny KO is not getting saved here. He's not getting... No, there, there will be no Captain Save Him capes being put on in this video. But I want to point out this guy that's going to pop up next. Here, let me just get past Kenny. That's it. Didn't catch on to Photoshop at all. It was only 8% of my yeah, following people tail, that saw the chap. picture that actually called me out about it. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 what the fuck? Whoa, 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 wait. All right, now see, this is the guy here, Elliot Atwall, a relatively known yet unknown internet YouTuber who just recently got his promotion from Alan Roberts right here. The same guy who avoids me like I'm Voldemort, like I'm the plague. You know, fear is a terrible thing, man. I advise you, you guys get off of it. I see these guys talk so greasy. I just watched a video with Steve Shaw talk so greasy about Kenny K. And I'm going to make a separate video about that. Because if everyone else is getting their weight up in the game by talking shit and YouTube allows it, well, I'm going to critique these videos. This is my opinion, my reaction, my, my final say on these guys here. Now, if, if I don't even, let me, I, let's, I'm going to hit play right now. Watch this. One of the excuses that you gave when Steve Shaw called you out about photoshopping was that the photoshop was so obvious that it couldn't possibly be construed as trying to deceive people. So what, you so what you're saying, that's what he's about to say. So what you're saying, Steve, is that this is some epic ass roast that we're supposed to be so like overwhelmed about and it's really mediocre. Um, this looks like one of your clients who either just started the program that you give or maybe gave up on the program because it, you know he looks a little young to be taking trt like a lot of these older guys do i don't know what's, what's going on here why i mean i thought i was gonna go over and see some dude you know who was well trained in in the art of fitness you know what i'm saying i'm trying to be nice here. i'm trying to pick my words nice here you know you can't just go all out i don't want to bully anyone on youtube but these guys are bullying people and i, I want to address it i want to address it when I call somebody out, it's pretty much over some dumb fitness idea, they said, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, some Photoshop. But this right here, this seems to be a gang up and a bring in, you know, they're trying to build a club, you know what I'm saying, of, uh, of roasters. So that's what this whole promotion thing was about. That's what this video is about. Like, you're promoting this guy? Hold on, hold on. This fucking awesome. So fucking necessary, too. Fucks that boy up. Now, ever since uh, Kenny was you know, busted out for photoshopping his so he, he said he F's that boy up. Uh, 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 what? How? He's just, he's in his car. He pretty much, he's doing a V shreds. He's copying what you're doing. Sitting in his car, spewing hot breath rhetoric about Kenny KO. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm not saving Kenny KO. Kenny KO can just go do Kenny KO. You know? But this guy here, it's funny. It's like, wow. A, a, yet another one you know this whole YouTube click promotion thing you know what I'm saying it's like what is going on here how how is this even possible that you can just even I don't even I mean is this guy let me click this is he even in the fitness YouTube genre or is he just what does his videos consist of okay He's not even in the fitness industry, but he's promoting these guys as if they're in fitness. What is he going to claim to be a power lifter? Okay, yeah, he's going at Brad Castleberry a little bit right there. Let's make sushi. Okay, V shreds, deadlift, a hundred thousand views. So this is what happens when you get promotion. You know, because people are coming to my channel saying, "How your channel hasn't popped off yet?" Well, because you know these guys right here are pretty much afraid to even mention my name. It's just that's just be point blank on this him Steve Shaw like I said Steve Shaw has came over to my Facebook page and posted something he tried to get this whole thing about buying fake subscribers which only had like 260 something subs within a matter of like maybe four months which is not really great at all but apparently he you know I bought those you know what I'm saying you guys seen the video that video really didn't get a lot of clicks why because they don't respond to it they're only gonna, they're only gonna respond to someone who has a bunch of subs because they're just trying to build their shit up. At the end of the day, it's like I said, it's about selling T-shirts. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having a business. I plan to do the same thing because the takeover is coming. I plan to build a brand around the fitness industry, but it's gonna actually involve fitness. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna actually involve fitness. 
these guys here, like I said, you know, they're trying to trying to um get the next generation of their elk into the game. And this Elliot guy here. I mean, look at this. Look, look at that. Look at look at his face. It's just <laughs> you know, he just knows yeah, I'm gonna make this ridiculously low budget, <laughs> low level video, and we're gonna get this guy here to promote that video, which is gonna then get me 54,000 views. I, you know how many Brad Castleberry videos I've made about his fake weights? You know how many Kenny KO videos I've made? You know how many don't do these dangerous exercise videos I've made about, what's his name? Um, can't think of his name. Um, hmm, Alpha Destiny, yeah, Mr. Snap Your Soul. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, with the thousand round pound rack pulls. And they don't get the promotion because when they see you coming and you, and you, and you look as, as destructive as I do, they, they hide. They run and hide. They won't dare speak my name. I'm going to play a little bit more of this and then in this video. I don't want to ramble too much. But I just want to bring some light to the subject because um, these guys, I'm going to be real. I don't sugarcoat. They're not going to be the only ones eating in the, fit, in the fitness industry over making videos like this. I want to expose this type of stuff because this really isn't even fitness. It's just guys talking shit about other guys because the drama sells. YouTube has so many different genres and I'm really not going to be into the whole, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff out there that I wouldn't even dare try to get into. But I wouldn't mind exposing some internet bullies, you know what I'm saying? Some, some low level trolls. Is it? Was the Photoshop so convincing that 92% of your own follower base didn't notice it? Or was the Photoshop so obvious and poorly oh, done that Photoshop it couldn't so, possibly so have been obvious. serious? One of these things oh. just doesn't belong here. Okay, it's a little tip. Really? Don't, don't ever do that again. Please. <laughs> this Elliot, nah, I can't even do it. I can't do it. I'm not going to go in. One of these things just doesn't make sense. This, this is crazy, man. I'm just like... I'm looking, I'm sitting here watching this video. I'm just like, go and check out this Elliot Atwell guy. It's like, oh, there goes a promotion. I'm like, uh, oh, where's my name at? How do you ignore me yet the Robert um Big Rob Fitness um weird ass old man, you know what I'm saying, shows up on my channel. And it's funny, I don't even anyway, he shows up on my channel talking about yeah, oh, you think you're gonna blow up on the uh-huh, yeah, you think you are? No, you N-word, this and that. We talk so much shit about you over on Every Damn Day Fitness's website. Oh my God, he talk, he goes in on you. He's destroying you on his website. And I'm like, well, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not built soft like that, motherfucker. I'm a brick wall. So I mean, hey, I, I can go at it with the best of them. And see, that's what scares these. Well, that's what scares Alan Roberts and the Steve Shaw. They see the comment section of my videos. They see a thousand trolls, and they see me come back and just dead them with a crazy ass comment and you can't you can't go at me with that it doesn't work so he's gonna you know sit on his website and his little forum and posts and you know you can talk all the crap he wants i've seen alan roberts post some some grimy comments with steve shaw about me you know what i'm saying and um i've even seen you know but i haven't seen a video that's why i say i haven't seen a video i haven't seen them once put my name in a video because it's fear you know what i'm saying is this something you can't buy it's it's called a spine either you have it or you don't you know what i'm saying because what what's gonna happen is eventually my you know people are gonna catch wind of my channel it's just it's it's, in, it's inevitable it's gonna happen eventually and then you know these guys are gonna have someone to compete with whenever they decide they want to step out and just bully someone to bully when it's not really fitness critique it's just i want to make a shock video for subs and try to diss a dude i'm gonna be right there standing in the shadows <laughs> waiting waiting that's what's gonna happen so these guys you know that's why that's why you know the trolls keep saying well why haven't your channel blown up yet well that's why you know why it's not because of lack of quality. You've seen the intros on my channel alone. It takes more than these guys. It took, you know, it took more time to build that, more effort to build that than these dudes do to build every video on their low-level channels that just seem to be getting subs. It's like these guys think the subscriber base, the amount of subs you get, you know, somehow validates you into manhood or how important you are. Like, no, you guys, you know, that you have no skills. You couldn't even do what I do. 
you get on this program that I get on to make these intros, and you 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 probably freeze up. You'd be like, okay, we could have a beer because I'm not even I'm not even gonna waste my time trying to learn this complex level of uh, engineering ingenuity or art, whatever you want to call it, because it's really it's, it's hard. But you know you have to have the mindset for it, and when someone steps up to the plate and they just look un as undefeatable as Damian McLeod. This is what happens, you know. And the fitness industry, they need it needs me to come in and just do what I do. Clean this thing up. Clean this thing up like like no one has ever cleaned before. So I don't look anytime soon for any of these guys to ever respond. I know what fear is. I know what fear is. Alright. So I'll leave it at that. If you guys haven't already done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind, making you hit the subscribe button. So until next time, like I always say, and don't forget, people listen, listen. The fitness videos are coming. The gym videos are coming. Um, I posted one the other day. Those videos take a lot of effort. It takes a lot of time. So the way YouTube algorithm is now, you don't, you know, I work every day. You don't have the time to put, to sit there and put you know, four or five hours into a fitness video, go and film it, then edit it, and you're not getting the same buzz as everyone else is getting who are doing low-level vlog videos, playing with their dog, or talking about this food I ate today, these little easy videos they make. So I figured I'm gonna chime over to this side of the game, make these easier to edit videos, and build off of this, and still throw in some fitness stuff here and there, but, you know, I'm gonna have to really measure this thing out because I'm game streaming now. It's just not enough time in the day to keep making those crazy edit videos just to not get the video seen because, you know, people are, they're trying to avoid you. You get what I'm saying? You guys understand. Well, there's, actually, you might not understand. If you don't make YouTube videos, you wouldn't understand. Trust me. It's a lot of effort goes into this. So anyway, with all that said, get to the gym, do work. Muscle love. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact. Came in you hoes, who else but mama's only fun? But the phony niggas in the Say my name, watch bitches come.